Hi everybody, this is going to be basic for first time underwater photographers. I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your camera and housing. There are several parts to this. First, you make sure all the controls on your camera are set up properly before even putting it in the housing. Then you put the camera in the housing and close it, seal it off, but you're not done. You then test it by taking pictures topside. Make sure everything's working okay. Check your LCD. And finally, if possible, it's always preferable to test the housing for leaking, dump, dunking it into some fresh water before jumping into the ocean with it. So let's check out how to set up your camera and housing. Thanks for tuning in. Before I even put my camera in the housing, there's a few things I like to check on the camera. First of all, I checked that my memory card is empty and obviously we put the memory card in the camera. This is the Canon G7X. I just charged my battery and we also of course have to make sure the battery is in the camera. All right, batteries in, memory cards in. Okay, I also make sure the camera is set on auto mode. This is going to be easy. It picks the shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. This is the most basic way to do it and we don't have to worry about getting an adequate exposure. Obviously the flash should be off. I set my JPEG. There's a few other things we should check. Make sure our JPEGs are set to large and fine. We should have auto white balance and the exposure compensation should be at zero. I also like to check my LCD and set it so that when I look at a picture, it shows the picture, the histogram, and information, aperture, uh, uh, shutter speed, and ISO setting. Even if you don't use this now, it's nice to be able to access it in the future. Okay. I have all my camera settings checked and double checked. I have the battery and memory card in and now I'm going to put the camera in the housing. And by the way, this in my opinion should always be performed in your hotel, taking your time. I really prefer not to do this on the dive boat for many reasons, okay? So now I'm going to simply place the camera in the Ike Light housing. I have a little penny here to put the, to screw the base of the camera to the base of the housing and just a few turns here and that should be secure. Okay, it's thumb tight there. All right, I've got that on. Now I had, I had already checked the O-ring and put a little bit of grease on it, checked it carefully for debris. I'm gonna double check and place this O-ring around the perimeter of the ledge of the housing, just like that. And now I bring the other part of the housing and I'm going to just put a little desiccant in here to help prevent any uh, moisture from accumulating. Okay, I got the camera in position. I'm going to depress both of the latches now. Okay, and now it's all set. Now one more important thing. I'm not quite done yet. I have to turn the camera on. All right, focus on something. Make sure I half focus, get it in focus, and then depress the shutter all the way. Check my LCD to make sure I have a picture, an image of the picture, a histogram, and then basic information on the LCD. Everything, everything seems to be in working order. It's good to be familiar, of course, not, turning, not only turning the camera off and on and depressing the shutter, but be familiar with how to adjust the other controls in case they get bumped or pushed. At some point, you need to be, know how to troubleshoot while you're underwater. It's good to be very familiar with all your controls, okay? And I'm still not quite done. Before we jump into the ocean with this, it's very important to immerse it hopefully in fresh water, in a bucket, in the sink, in the bathtub, before we just jump into the ocean with the camera just to check for leaks. So thank you for your attention. Well, thanks a lot for tuning in. I sure hope you found this helpful. Let me repeat myself one more time. Try to always take your time when setting up your camera. I have flooded three cameras in my underwater photography career. In every case, it was related to me rushing. Well, thanks for your attention.